If you're someone who edits footage that's based on a script like commercials, YouTube videos or films, the new IntelliScript feature in DaVinci Resolve 20 might just be your new best friend. This feature will create an initial rough cut for you based on what's being said in the video files and the script file that you give it. It will even recognise if there's multiple takes of the same bit of the script and give you the option to choose the best one. Let me show you two examples that can really speed up your workflow. If we have a look at this first clip, the feature will create an initial rough cut for you based on what's being this is the clip that you saw in the introduction to this video. Here I'm just talking to the camera which has got a teleprompter on it and because I'm reading from a known script I can then use that in DaVinci Resolve. Right click on the clip, come down to AI tools and choose create new timeline using IntelliScript. When I click on that it's going to ask me to give it a script file. And if I just open this up, this is a script I used in the introduction. Select your script file and click open. And now DaVinci Resolve is going to analyze the clip. It's going to transcribe the audio so it can recognize the words. And it's going to match that up with the words in the script file that we just gave it. Just gonna delete these empty tracks to make things easier. And what we've got now is a rough cut based on that script. On video track one and audio track one, DaVinci Resolve is going to tell us what it thinks is the best takes for that script. If you're someone who edits footage that's based on... So this is only a rough cut and you can see that in that jump there, your new best friend. This feature, you can quickly fix that up, which I'll show you in a second. When I was recording this, I repeated a number of lines in the script just so I could try out different pronunciations or different emotions in each line of the script. And because of that, DaVinci Resolve has given us these grayed out or disabled clips. And each one of these clips usually lines up to a different version. So let's take this introduction. If you're someone who edits footage that's based on a script, that's the introduction, but we could actually try out this second version. To do that, I'm going to click on it and hit D on the keyboard and click on the original version and click D to disable it. If you're someone who edits footage that's based on a script like commercial, so that gives you a really quick way of seeing which take or which version of a part of the script you like the sound of best. Once you've chosen the one that you want, you can just drag it down onto the main line if you want to. Feature in DaVinci is this feature will so you see there how it's been a little bit aggressive when it does the cuts, but we can really quickly fix that up by either clicking this button here or hitting T on the keyboard to change to trim edit mode, and then just position your cursor and drag it out. You best friend. This feature. We could switch back to the pointer tool and then we could audition this take. This feature will create an initial rough cut for you. And you can see there how that was actually a mistake. So we're not gonna want to use that. We can trim that off. This feature will create an initial rough cut for you based on what's being said in the video files and the script file that you give it, you give it. So you could go through that timeline, choose the takes that you like the sound of the best, and then just trim up the start and ends of those clips to get everything sounding exactly how you wanted. And that's exactly what I did in the introduction to this video. So the second use case is when you've got multiple clips, because this process will also work not just on a single clip, but if you've got multiple clips for different parts of a scene. So I'll show you the result in a second, but this is a little skit I just created and it's got two characters, Dave and me. If we come back to DaVinci Resolve and open up Dave's takes, this is just Dave reading the lines from the script. DaVinci Resolve 20 is rubbish because I don't know how to use it. DaVinci Resolve 20 is rubbish because I don't know how to use it. So you can see there we've got multiple takes again of the same lines in this paper script. If we open up the other version, this is the lines for the Jason character, which is me. Tried watching some YouTube tutorials. Wow, Dave, you really are a neg. So let's go and use the script that I used to record these two clips and watch how DaVinci Resolve in Telescript can actually assemble the rough cut for us for these two characters. This time we're going to select both of these clips. Again, right click, AI tools, create new timeline using IntelliScript. And this time we're gonna go and open up this subscribe skit. First thing to notice here is I've actually got 
the two character names. DaVinci Resolve is not actually going to use these. It's only going to match up the words that are spoken to the script. Select that, choose open, let DaVinci Resolve do its thing. And I'll just make a bit of space here. And this time you can see we've actually got multiple takes for each thing. We've got these two extra takes. And as before, DaVinci Resolve is going to put what it thinks are the best takes on the video and audio one. So let's just take a listen to this all the way through because I want you to see how it actually fits together. DaVinci Resolve 20 is rubbish because I don't know how to use it. Have you tried watching some YouTube tutorial? All YouTube videos are rubbish. Wow, Dave, you really are a negative person, you know. So, prove me wrong then. There's loads of great channels like Mr. Alex Tech. Okay, I'll try some tutorials. You should also subscribe to my channel. It's called Da Vinci Dojo. So once again, it's been a little bit aggressive with how short it's cut some of those things, but we can really go and quickly fix that up. First off, let's just audition maybe the second version. Hit D, hit D. DaVinci Resolve 20 is rubbish because I don't know how to use it. Let's keep that one. All YouTube videos are rubbish. All YouTube videos are rubbish. Wow. Okay, so we'll take that one. We'll take that one. So prove me wrong then. So prove me wrong. Okay, I'll try some. Okay, I'll try some. You should tutorial. also. And you can see there how in the delivery of those two pieces, this one of the deliveries was a bit longer. So DaVinci Resolve doesn't quite line up the starts and the ends yet, but I'm sure this tool will get so much better over time as well. But even this saves a massive amount of time. As before, we'll open up the trim edit tool, we'll fix this up. You can see how super quick that was just to get that rough cut into a cut that we could probably actually just use straight away. We could go and add some J and L cuts to make things even better. Just holding down Alt, dragging this across. How to use it. Have you tried watching some YouTube tutorials? All YouTube, you know. So, wrong. There's loads of great channels tech okay i'll try some tutorial and here's what the final version looks like davinci resolve 20 is rubbish because i don't know how to use it have you tried watching some youtube tutorials all youtube videos are rubbish wow dave you really are a negative person you know so prove me wrong there's loads of great channels like mr alex tech okay I'll try some tutorials. You should also subscribe to my channel. It's called DaVinci Dojo. I'm interested to hear your thoughts about this new feature. So write a comment and subscribe now for more great DaVinci Resolve tutorials. I'm Jason Roberts from DaVinci Dojo and I'll see you in the next one.